Hi, hello, and welcome to The World is Ending, but I'm still looking at K-pop. <laughs> um, yeah, let us distract ourselves. What a better way to distract ourselves than looking at the most recent SF9 album that I still haven't opened. Rumination, let's go. All right, first we check out the packaging. I got the blood version, so the black and red version. It's a very different than I thought it was going to be inside of the plastic. It's got this little band here that you can take off. Ooh, and even more info underneath. Okay, we've got like fancy old hotel keys there, flowers, and the SF9 logo on the back. It's very, it's giving me very like Victorian haunted hotel um, which, you know what? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I feel like they always, SF9 really has like ethereal vibes no matter what they put out. And I like that it's in this book size. Again, I wish there was something that is going to hold in whatever gifts they've given me, but that is okay. Um, it's a good thick size, so we're gonna have a sizable photo book to flip through in a second. So I'm really excited about it. Um, and I'm excited about the version that I got. So let us go ahead and give packaging a score. Mm, the books like this that kind of leak photo cards can only go so high, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a 7.5 because I like it so far. All right, now is the time where we open everything and check out the concept. I'm going to take this off because it reminds me of reading a hardcover book with the outside jacket still on and I don't really do that. Let's get out of the way so I don't ruin it. Okay. Rumination. Black and red is our theme for this one. Ooh. The outfits with the jewel tones. Okay. I'm digging it. And there's a horse on the wall. That's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. We got Young Ben. Um, sick jacket. Sick ripped leopard pants. He definitely blends in with the black and red theme perfectly looking great. He's got like the little long bangs covering one eye going. Love to see it. And he's got a f old telephone in his hand. There's another horse there. <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna be spot the horses with Allie, I guess, in this album. My bad. Okay, I see you. These are a lot of variety. I like this. Like, it's only one outfit, but we're getting them at a bunch of different angles, a bunch of different poses. Trauma. Oh, this is going to be traumatic for me. Well, what's not traumatic these days, right? Okay. <laughs> um, Insel? Hello? Hi. He is like the poshest looking person I have ever seen in my life, especially that's not British. Um, if there were still royalty. In South Korea he might be part of that because he's got the face for it he just does I don't know there's something about him that's just like yes let me charter my yacht next week to sail across the world he looks like he is going to go buy a Birkin bag at Hermes at all times I don't know <laughs> He's, he just looks expensive, like Bam Bam. I always say this about Bam Bam and got seven. He looks expensive. So does he. Expensive. Memory of before. There was the trauma. I don't know. It's been a few years. Oh my gosh. Jae Yoon coming from nowhere. Absolutely nowhere with this sweat. I'm just this cause cause for a self zoom. The clavicle, sir rude. Um, also that sweater looks really stinking comfy. Okay, we see you with the deep V. He's the one who I always forget. Um, and he was like, yeah, Allie forgets me a lot, so time to rock this sweater with nothing underneath it. Cool, cool, cool. Cool for him. Um, we appreciate that. And yeah, we melt down in the corner over here. Just a little bit. Alright, we're okay. We're fine. We're totally, we're fine. Why is he in a library? No. Oh my god, there's more horses. <laughs> um, if you're counting horses, we're, I think that's four. No, 
four forces of the apocalypse. Oh my god. Let there be more so that we can... Okay, Dawan. I see you. Does he have a tattoo there? Is that something we know? I, I am bad, and I don't know excessive amounts about all the individual members. Is something we know that he has this tattoo? I need him to not be handsome for how loud he is as a human being. Um, that's not right. That's not right. Is that a velvet blazer? And he has silver pants on. I am beside myself. I... Yeah, they named this trauma and they called this the blood version because they are out for blood. Oh my gosh. I'm traumatized. What is, okay, what is this though? Like, explain to me. Explain this pose, sir. What is happening? Explain to me. Gah, dreams are the only place to escape to. Okay. Got a group shot of my future trauma. Oh man. Rowan, he's gonna do me like that. He's the one that all of my, oh, I forgot to take all my gifts out of here. That's my bad, okay. Uh, Rowan is the one that everyone thinks is going to be my bias. That's like what my friends have a bet on based on my other biases. And apparently my stereotypical K-pop type. Um, in case you didn't know, I also stand Jin and Jin Young from GOT7. So like, probably accurate. It's probably accurate. Okay. Also, I've just found out that in NCT, um, at least 127, Jaehan is my bias. So nothing if not consistent okay sir with the blue velvet and all and the bolo tie dude I am offended for myself this whole concept is like it's like Victorian hotel meets a little bit of cowboy I mean it's like rich person gambling at a casino? Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? Okay. Rude. Oh, there's a little shotgun there. Kill me instantly. <gasps> I feel like he's the only one. I wonder if he's going to be the only one to fully turn his back on the camera in a photo shoot and still like, he can get away with it. How do... <gasps> <clears throat> Gentlemen, my ass. Oh my god, it's kind of Kingsman vibes, just a little bit. Zuho, no. Oh. I don't know how I feel about the matching shirt and shoes. That's okay. He still looks amazing. He's Mary's bias, my friend Mary, if y'all haven't heard me talk about her. He is her bias, and for good reason. Look at him. Just. Just look at him. Can do nothing but look at him. Good grief. Like he puts all of the effort into the modeling here. <gasps> this feels like, take me home tonight. So I'm, I'm bad at singing. Okay, um, 2 p.m., anyone? No, just me? Okay, cool. I'll hide in this corner here and pretend I did not do that. On and on. The never-ending trauma just goes on and on, and here we go. Oh, gosh dang it. Yu Tang. My dude. Um, can we talk seriously about, about some things that are happening here? Um, rude. He's got full rock star outfit on. Like, this is a rock, at a, ooh, this is like your rock star crush at a hotel party, after their concert. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How does this feel like, don't come for me, but Harry Styles could totally wear this. Okay, moving on. Um, 
Mm, what the? Why? I was I was attacked and then I was assaulted incredibly. Jeez. Jeez, guys, come on. They're like, we're just gonna give him a cow print jacket and no other clothes. What? I'm not complaining. I am not. I am full offended, but I'm not complaining. Okay, if I don't get a photo card of him, I'm gonna be sad. Is that bad? I hate myself. Oh my gosh. Rumination. He's thinking upon what he's done. He best be. Um, hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Moment of silence. Because I have no words for what is happening before me right now. I need time. I need a vacation. Oh, look. You know you're confident when you're just like, yeah, full back to the camera. The scenario here is that I'm losing my mind. Hi, Johnny. Hi, bud. He came to save the day. Adorable. I don't know why I associate him with Jong Ho when, if you guys watched Imitation, he and Jong Ho are like the buds, but like Chani and Jong Ho give similar vibes to me of where they're like the baby, but also the oldest. Like, out of all of them, I would put him in charge of whatever is happening. Rude. That's a rude look right there. Look, look at that. Offensive. Okay. Okay. I take it back. You're in charge of nothing. Also, there's a swan. <laughs> Horse. For fantasy. Oh, that us. That, that would be us. Okay. Oh, lyrics by SF9. That is the cutest. I'm still not good at reading Hangul, otherwise I would figure out who it says that it's by, composed by and everything, but I'm still not that great. Okay. Normally, I give lower scores when I'm given a singular outfit look in a whole photo book, but um, those were probably some of the best outfits I've ever seen um, as a whole. It was a cohesive look. It matches the vibe entirely. All of their outfits are perfect, but I felt like they also matched each individual member. And all nine of them just murdered me, so that's fine. Um, that's fine. Their concept gets a nine. I, see? I'm so not paying attention. I made it a different size. I don't care. Nine. <laughs> I need a minute. All right, I had a drink of water and we're back <laughs> to look at my gifts. Um, I know it's more than just a photo card, so I'm excited about it. I think they're all rightfully flipped. Okay, so we have a few different things, which I love, especially with the larger group. So let's look at the bigger card. It's going to be, oh, it looks so shiny. Young Ben, am I wrong? Don't let me be wrong. Was he really? No, it's Young Ben. Okay. Hey. Oh my gosh, he's a rainbow holographic Young Ben. I love it. Is that a sticker? No. Okay. I was like, sorry. Okay. Next, we have the photo cards. Oh, I just got like a Young Ben full album here. This is a uh, like transparent card. Again, Young Ben. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We've got two more. I think one is an AR card. One is an AR card, so... I don't know who it is. I think that's what that's about. Okay. And, oh. It's Taeyang, everybody. Um, Yu Taeyang is here to kill me. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I don't think this is an AR card. No, it is. 
It is. Okay. Well, I can't. Let's see if I can figure out what it is. So this has a link in the QR code to buy digital content. So ick, don't want that. But okay, regular photo card, hollow photo card, transparent photo card. I'm decently okay with my polls. Um, I like that they have a mix of things. I don't like that they gave us this thing that is not usable unless I want to buy something else, which I do not, but, um, <laughs> amount of gifts in comparison. Mm. Gifts I'm a little bit disappointed in. I'm giving gifts a 6.5. That's right. I know. Um, I'm devastated with myself, but It is what it is. Some days I like that. It's okay. All right, now we're talking about music next. Um, when it comes to SF9's music, I always really like their title track, but I don't know how well the B-sides stick with me, but you know what? I will, I need to listen to this album again, and I'm going to, probably tomorrow on my way to work. But, um, yeah, I like SF9 songs. I feel like their title tracks are always incredibly catchy. Um, and yeah, they promised me trauma and they gave me trauma in this album. So yes, music, solid 8.5. Switching things up while we talk about the total. Okay, I feel like I was very back and forth on things in this album. Um, again, I don't know the music entirely by heart for this one, but that's okay. You don't need to when you buy an album. It's all right. I feel like it's exciting because it's their 10th mini album. Good for them. They did a really awesome concept that was very consistent throughout the pictures. I felt like everybody's outfit was very um, reminiscent of each individual member very unique but still cohesively together and I feel like it fit with the theme of them traumatizing fantasy because why not so on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm giving this album hmm. so on a scale of 1 to 10 Giving this album nine traumas. Because that's approximately what it cost me whenever I looked at each individual member. <laughs> so, yeah, scale of one to ten, nine traumas. Good guys. Proud of you. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you stuck around this long, like, comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite SF9 concept. Uh, did you get another version of this album? Thanks so much. I can talk sometimes. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!